Minnesota state law requires drivers and passengers in all seating positions to be buckled while the vehicle is in motion. Unfortunately, statistics have shown that the law is being ignored by some. This week's Bloomington Police Department's traffic tip of the week, buckle up. What's holding you back? It's one of the simplest ways to improve safety while behind the wheel. Yet 43% of the state's total motorist deaths in the past three years are a result of not being buckled. The number is still high because I think a lot of people just don't want to put the belt on. They don't feel comfortable with it. They feel it, it inhibits them while they're driving and they just don't have the education that would show them that wearing it would be safer. Seatbelts are proven life-saving tools when it comes to vehicle crashes. The chance of walking away from an ugly crash dramatically increases when you're strapped in. This happens every day in the city of Bloomington. The police respond to numerous car crashes within the city. Some are a result of a rollover during the day. It doesn't have to be at night. It can be on a city street or a major thoroughfare. In July of 2013, we responded to two rollovers in the same week. Both cases of the rollovers the drivers were able to crawl out of the vehicle after unbuckling their belt with no injury. Your odds are six times greater for injury if you're not buckled up when involved in a crash, something Officer Anderberg has seen repeatedly over his time in law enforcement. Here's a case of a car in the middle of the day in Bloomington where the driver was not belted. She ran her car into a tree, sustained injuries because of the crash. She was not belted in. In a crash, when your car stops and you're not belted in, your body's going to go forward, hit the airbag and or the, the steering wheel. From there, your organs will then contact the interior of your body. Three collisions from one crash. That will cause injuries. Wear your belt.